Back out. Midgey fight, Midgey city. Just recreating the famous scene there. In the old valley. In the old glen. So, this is the beginning of a trip. First night, I'm just going to have a car camp because it's really late. I'm going to head down through the glen. See if I can get a pitch. Um, let's have a spin around. Look at this place. If you want to find the Skyfall place, you look for that bridge and that lonely tree up there. That's it. And this is the layby. Right. We'll crack on. So we're cracking on and it's the next day, the very next day. I couldn't um I couldn't pitch in that valley because the midges were just too much. As soon as I, I went and found a great spot, as soon as I stopped, they were on us. So looking around. And in the car park, that's Cullmore. I don't know the other ones. I don't know the names of these ones. But it's it's really remote here. So I'm in the middle of nowhere, driving along, and I thought, oh, there's a layby up here. I'll stop for a stop for a natural break. And there was a car parked in the layby. I thought, mm, great, typical. And it was him. <laughs> <laughs> can't even get a passion piece. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I caught him at it. At it. Out of all the places in Britain. I know. What are the odds? <laughs> what, what are the odds? Are the odds? <laughs> so for anybody who doesn't know, this is Mark out in the wild. Not posted for too long. Too long, yeah. yeah. <laughs> working, COVID. working himself to death. That's what I was doing. I had to get right. time off. You've got to take time off. So I've, uh, <laughs> I've, Shang dragged me up there. I have shanghaied him, <laughs> coming up here, he was going to go on a nice peaceful little beach camp and that, and I'm like, nah, let's get up here. So it's we the are... The next bit of footage you see will be me, me lying dead. Oh, I'll be, I'll be lying beside you. It's so hot. But we're not going, to, we're not going to go on the summit. We're going to go on this shoulder here, which I think a few people are camping on. We might, we'll pitch there and we might have a wander up, have a bit scramble up there, because it's dead scrambly. And I've seen from videos, there's only one spot on the top that you can really pitch. So we'll just keep it simple. But allegedly, the views over the back of there are amazing. So that's it. We're just getting packed ready, we'll go now. And we'll see you at the top. We'll see you halfway up the top. <laughs> Not gonna be at the top very fast. Well, we haven't come far. And look at it. Opening out. So it's a lovely steep path all the way to the right, to the ridge of death. Stairs of terror. see why we're not gonna press on up there. I mean it's a scrambly route but you could do it without the pack on, with a day pack. And you go across, all the way through and then down, or what a lot of people have said is they're going round the back of it, doing a loop around the back and coming down that path. But we are just gonna go up here. I mean Mark's suffering there but he's never, 
says he's never been out for years, well, months. And I know from experience, if you don't go out regular, you sharp lose your fitness on the hills. So we're just gonna find a spot up here if we can. Hopefully get the views. Because it's all about the views. Not him again. So that's the stack where you can scramble up if you're brave enough. We've got over there, Sullivan. He's looking the back of it. That's the that side there is the true top. That side there is what the scramblers do. I'll have to check the names of these. Look at that. What a place. I'll go up. I think we'll pitch around here somewhere. Find a spot. I'll wait for Mark to come up. Find somewhere. And then we'll crack the beers on. Whee! What a place to have a drink, eh? And there's a little breeze. Let's keep the midges off because there's been midgy attacks on the way up. Let's leave you with that view. We've got the kettle boiled, we're having something to eat. When does the fucking pick up? Oh, you'll excuse me, uh, hurry, me hurry, because there's midges everywhere. The midges are terrible, we're getting nailed. I'm just gonna boil that up and then we're gonna crack on. They're absolutely terrible. Awful. And there's no breeze, there's not a breath of wind, which is not helping. Ugh. What a place, but oh, it's been ruined by these little blighters. Oh, I'm kind of can't, can't film, can't film. Oh, midgy hell. Honestly, they're terrible. The wind is gone, there's absolutely no breeze up here. And they just swarm like mad. They've gone at the minute, like, don't know what's gone on. Um, But we've just got a tea on. Mine's just um, hydrating there. Mark's is like soup. It's got macaroni cheese soup. Macaroni soup. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of beers. We've got a nice flat flat table for the beers there. That's good. And we've got this view going on. I mean, look at that. You kind of get vexed at that, like. Oh, that's me. Uh, That's me, soup's ready. Mm. <laughs> you can't get vexed at that view. That was my original plan to go up Sullivan. But the nine mile walk in has put us off a bit. Must be getting soft in my old age. It's the stack. And so that's about it. Just gonna get these meals had and then Couple more beers. Yeah, they're coming back, aren't they? See when the breeze, all you need is the slightest breeze. That's all we need. We're not getting it. All the times I've been complaining about the wind. Now I'm bloody begging for the wind. <laughs> Mark, how was your night? It was good, but the midges, the midges, Jesus. Ah, the midges, Jesus. That's some. Um, sleep by what, half past nine? Half nine, aye. Bed. The midges, Jesus, sums it up. That's my view for waking up. I'll try to get this camera 
straight, I don't know if it's straight or not. Oh, so, all right, the midges ruined everything. Just did that sunset, and then we sat up on the, up the top. Oh, I filmed, we were cooking my tea, didn't we? And that was the last, that was the last of it. Once we'd eaten my tea, we just dived in the tents because we were just getting too much. Midges, man. And now, we've got up this morning, and there's a nice breeze, typical. So, we're gonna pack up and head off on the next adventure, wherever that is. We're just making it up as we're going along. We'll just- A couple just, of bacon rolls, bro. Uh, a couple of bacon rolls. And then we're just gonna make it up. That's the stack. We're not gonna climb up it. I'm not feeling brave enough. That, that ridge there is worse than it looks on camera. It looks lethal from here. There we go then. We've cleared the top of all the cooking stuff. That's where I was. It was all right. I wouldn't like to come here if it was uh, heavy rain, because I think it's a bit of a swamp. And then Mark was over there. That's where he was there. So we're going to go down the path of terror now, because that is a path of terror as well. The steps, the steps go down like that. It's one of them horrible ones. So that's it, we'll bring you back on the next instalment of frivolity. Breakfast time. <laughs>